Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to talk about like how to get started with computer vision. How do you actually get into computer vision? How did, did I get into computer vision? And how did I actually like, start this journey here with the YouTube? Uh, first of all, I've, I started out with computer vision. I went more into like deep learning. Now we're actually like, combining deep learning and computer vision. We're going to talk about that. And then I'm going to give you some, some tips and some guidelines. We're going to set up a roadmap of like how to actually like, get into computer vision. So basically, like if you're interested in computer vision, the first step is to learn like the fundamentals of computer science and also like programming. I suggest you start out with Python if you haven't programmed before. Like definitely start out with Python. You can learn the basics like the if statements, for loops, and all those different around things. And then after you are familiar with like the programming concepts, you can actually like go in try to do some some different kind of things in C++ as well because then you will get knowledge on a lower level. You also need uh, some understanding inside of like some math understanding to act like do computer vision task. Of course you can call some different kind of functions from frameworks but it is always good to know like how does it actually like, work under the hood and you'll also be way better at solving problems and also like finding solutions to problems if you have like fundamental like knowledge in math especially for linear algebra and also calculus but linear algebra is actually like, really essential uh, when we're doing all these different kind of calculations for computer vision and then when you have a strong fund foundation in these subjects you can start like learning the basic stuff about computer vision uh image processing, video processing, which is basically just like a, a sequence of images. Then when you have done that, like the basic image processing, I have tutorials about all of it here on the channel. Uh, my tutorials is actually like in C++, so I'll definitely recommend uh, first start out with the basic concepts in Python. If you're familiar with programming and Python, you can just directly go into uh, my tutorial with C++. I go over like all the basic things. So first of all, we start with image processing. How can you threshold an image? How can you blur an image? Uh, how do we actually like, remove noise in images? We're talking about uh, those different kind of things on a really low fundamental level. So you'll get like the basic understanding. The tutorials I have here on the channel about computer vision is basically going from like the beginner level to more intermediate level. And then at the end here, we act like at a pretty high level where we're combining all the different kind of things. And we also like put deep learning, optic detection and all those different kind of things on top of our um, computer vision foundation with the basic things and also the more intermediate things with like for example like background subtraction feature extraction how can we actually like extract features and frames mess them to different kind of frames and then on a more advanced level how can we do like 3d image processing uh, depth estimation how can we calculate depth with our images and all those different kind of things with stereo vision so this is basically like the roadmap so Start by learning the fundamentals of computer science programming, including like data structures and algorithms. But and the most important things within math, it acts is actually like algebra, linear algebra, and calculus. You'll be able to use it for a lot of different kind of like computer vision applications. Uh, when we're going to do some multiplication and all those different kind of things, when we're going to act like do operations on images, we're basically just using linear algebra. Then after that, learn the basics of like image and video processing. Uh, including like these different kind of techniques for filtering, transforming, and act like just analyzing visual data. We're doing a lot of different kind of like transformations, uh, filtering methods, and all those different kind of things. I both have like uh, practical ways of how to actually like, do it, but I also go over the theory of how these algorithm filters and transformations act like works uh, um, on the math level as well. When you know all those basic things, you can actually like, just take it into another step. So those are the more like basic steps for actually like getting into computer vision, now we can take it to an intermediate level where we actually like go inside like feature extraction, um, processing, and identifying and extracting information from our images. So basically, we're just giving some images, and then we actually like want to do something with it. We want to be able to use it in real life because again, like we're just learning computer vision to actually like get our computers to see something in the real world. So then we can take it to the intermediate step, which is actually like feature extraction. Uh, we want to like do, for example, like edge detection, color histograms. How can we actually like get information from color histograms? How can we manipulate our images uh, so we can actually like uh, see more information in our images without doing anything else than some post processing, uh, playing around with some histograms and so on. And then again, we can just add like pattern recognition, optic detection, and all those different things, which is basically like on a bit more high level. So when we have the basics, 
basic operations of computer vision. We have the basics, then we go to the media step, extract features and the, all those different kind of things. And then the next level is basically just combining the intermediate steps and the basic steps. We go up on an even higher level. We combine all those different kind of things. We do feature extracting to try to like find 3D information in our images. We do stereo vision, um, optical flow, optic detection, and then when we actually like get to that stage, we can try to like get into deep learning. How can we combine deep learning with computer vision? Because act like you can just take your images, throw them through some um, deep learning models. You can then do optic detection, optic segmentation, and all those different kind of things. But the more advanced computer vision stuff is act like 3D reconstruction, understanding understanding just seeing you're in and understanding what you actually see in the images and then also visual tracking. So again, you can both like do detection in your images. So let's say we want to do like a person detector, then we can actually like just detect that person walking around in the image frame. But sometimes you might lose track and we actually like need to actually like track the exact objects moving in the frame. Then we can also add another step. Then we're adding tracking on top of our detections. And now we actually like get to a really advanced level. And when we're at that level within computer vision and deep learning, we can actually like start to make some really useful things for the real world. And then when you're at that point, you're really, really good at computer vision. You can do a lot of different kind of things. You can actually like work with different like projects, concepts. You can do like pretty much everything within computer vision. Of course, new things come out all the time. You need to keep, keep updated with that. Again, as you continue to learn and improve your skills within computer vision, also like participate in different kind of like online communities, also here on the channel, be active on the channel in different communities learn from other people, like talk to other people. Also, if you teach other people the concepts and the ideas that you learn by yourself, then you will act like understand them way better. This was also act like one of the main reasons I started this YouTube channel was to actually like teach you guys something about like computer vision, deep learning and all those different things. And just as the time went by, I just get got way better at computer vision, all these different things by just like talking about them, teaching them to you guys. I just gained a lot of more knowledge. Um, I was actually like getting more into like implementing these things, acts like going from like theory to act like implementations. How can we use this in the real world? And then I just kept on improving like my my computer vision skills and and my understanding of computer vision and how it works. It just got way better by act like teaching, talking with other guys about it, um, trying it out again. If you want to be good at something, you just need to put in the hours. So my advice is basically just like participate, like talk to other guys, participate in different kind of like communities in forums, stay up to date, like uh, get into like a Twitter, like LinkedIn and all those different kind of things. Just stay up to date with the new things in computer vision. Once you have like the basic understanding on the fundamental level, so you're at the really high level, uh, you try to like do something useful with computer vision. You can also look at different kind of like conferences as all and all those different kind of things. But the most important thing is to actually like just stay up to date, keep learning and the way you learn is act like by implementing things so again if you just like look at it at a fundamental and like theoretical uh, view you won't really be able to apply it implement those different kind of things in real uh, world computer vision applications because you can of course call some functions from OpenCV and all those different kind of things on images but once you are given a project in the real world you have a camera in a production setup for example then it will just be way way harder if you haven't done it before so my advice is basically just implement, do some practical stuff. The more practical thing to do, the better you will be. And also if you talk with other guys, like discuss the different kinds of things, uh, try to create some project with, uh, with other people as well, discuss in different kinds of like communities or forums, your understanding of computer vision will just be way, way better. So keep learning and keep improving your skills. I have all these videos here covered like from the basic intermediate steps to a more like high level step where we're going to like free information, stereo vision, optic detection, deep learning and all those different kind of things because like computer vision is a rapidly evolving field. So it's important to stay engaged, continue to learn, never stop, keep on learning, keep on implementing these things here in practical ways. You will get way, way better and it will pay off in the end. Thank you guys for watching this video here and again remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification on the video. Also like this video here if you like the content and you want more in the future. Again as I've mentioned throughout this video I have videos about everything within computer vision from the basic levels of image processing to more like advanced things where we do feature extraction, match the features, do reconstruction like 3D reconstruction, stereo vision like point clouds, applying deep learning to computer vision and all those different things. If you're interested in it, I'll link to one of the tutorials up here 
or else on the next video, guys. Bye for now.